Folks, this is Troy Black, and guess what? It's time for Backwoods Adventures. Backwoods Adventures is brought to you by the Sports Connection, the Tri-Counties Connection for all your custom embroidery and screen printing needs. Give Chad a call today at 270-389-9933. And by Tri-County Waste. Give Gus Knipe a call for pricing at 270-333-3666. We're back with more Backwoods Adventures. Here we go, folks. Join us on an elk hunt right now with G.O.D. Ministry staffer, Kerry Don Orange in the mountains of eastern Kentucky. Come on along. I think you'll like the hunt. How are you? I'm all right. You awake good? I'm awake. We've been awake since three. Oh. <laughs> I was sleeping, but Kerry was awake. Oh, he was awake. Huh? Oh, he's excited. Isn't he? Yeah, he's ready to go. <laughs> We're all ready to go. Yeah, I'm almost invisible. Yeah. <laughs> we got up early this morning. Ready to go. Ready to go. Super elk guy here with us, Mr. Corey Napier, right here. He's, Super he's elk guy? Old, he's, he's outside. Tell him. That's what we could expect in the morning, Corey. I definitely wouldn't shoot him unless it was a good six point. Something over 300. The best way to tell is make sure he's got good thirds and good this. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's two. Yeah, there's, there he is. There he is. Looking right at us. That is awesome. He is like eating in that autumn. On that, on that autumn autumn. Olive or autumn, whatever it is. Autumn autumn. Try to count. Oh, it's wide. It's going back in the bush, man. You have a, you was a game warden for how many years? Thirty-five, thirty-five and a half. Matter of fact. What about this? What, what do you think about this? Uh, first time I've seen anything like it, I put it that way. Fishing game's done good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's done great. Started off with the deer. When I started, that was a big thing then. We don't look at the turkey, and here it is now. With the elk. You ever think you'd see the day there'd be elk in Kentucky? Never. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> but I guess this is perfect habitat for it. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Backwoods Adventures is brought to you by the Sports Connection, the Tri Counties Connection for all your custom embroidery and screen printing needs. Give Chad a call today at two seven zero three eight nine ninety nine thirty three. And by Tri-County Waste. Give Gus Knipe a call for pricing at 270-333-3666.
Get him. Maybe, Benny. It's all hunched up. Get him then. Take your time. Take your time. What are you doing? Uh, Carrie's just shot a nice elk right here. We, uh, we're going to give it some time. We think we hit him a little far back the first shot. Second shot looked good, and uh, our buddy Corey's on top of the hill. I was watching with binoculars, and he thinks that he's seen it go down went behind that brush right there. But we're going to wait. You know, the ethical thing to do is wait, not bump him. So we'll give it an hour at least before we even go up there and even check to look. And, uh, Boy, well, it was exciting. We had four or five balls right here. And, uh, I mean, it was neat. It was a classic. I tell you what, I mean, if you can hear it right now, we still got one you know, right behind out. us. He's just, he's just bolting at us right now. Yeah. But uh, we feel that we've made a, you know, pretty decent shot, and we're going to do the right thing. We're going to let let him sit there for a while before we push him. We don't want to push this out. Know. You know, we've got the big bull up there, but uh, if uh, – we recover this one. He's big for me. Yeah, well, I mean, we ain't seen, we seen that other big one, and he, after we shot, he come out of there, but if that other big one's over in there, and he never showed himself, you well, never got morning, You know, when we was coming in on these bulls, uh, Benny, we kept the wind in our favor, didn't we? Kept the wind, wind checker. This is the main thing, I believe, in deer hunting, and elk cutting is wind checker. It's, it keeps you safe. I, I know you was tuned in on this bull that was in front of us. Right. But uh, as we was walking, I mean, we, we had put this on the truck, the Evercom border scent. Yep. And uh, me and Troy was poking each other because we had a bull behind us following us <laughs> as we was going to this bull. Yeah. Well, he could smell that probably. Right. Right. Yeah. He could smell that. He was just wondering what it was. He was checking you out. Yeah. And, and, I mean, it's nice. It's easy to put on. It's an easy application. We just put it on our pants and on the side of the boots. And, and, and folks, this morning we had, had one following us. Yeah. So. And he was he was so close. I could hear him every time he take off running. Yeah. He's probably 30, 40 yards to the, just to our left right there. Stand right. his head a little bit. Troy kept trying to boast for me, for me that there was one following us, and I was locked in on these. I, I knew they were in this little bottom here, and I knew we had a chance to, to get a good view of them, you know. Right. This is so thick on these mountain tops. Sometimes you just can't see them. These autumn olives right. are all around us, and they get in that. Those big bulls hang up in that autumn olive. You know, he just won't hardly step out. Right. I mean, he knows he's secure as long as he stays in there. Yeah. So. And it, it again, they couldn't see us. I mean, you you stand right here. You know, I've got this God's Country camo on. Right. And I mean, you look you look at me in the background. I mean, I'm you're, right in there. You're right in there. I'm right, right in there. Yeah, I don't think. Well, we had that elk right there. He was at 65, 70 yards when I cow called. He turned and looked at us, and we was moving around and doing everything right here. He never seen us. I mean, you know, sometimes when you, uh, when things go wrong, you know, it seems like the devil tries to get a hold of you there, and he, he'll throw obstacles in your way, and uh, he threw some at me today, but uh, <laughs> I didn't lean towards his side. I leaned towards the Lord's side, and uh, I, I honor this hunt for my Lord and Savior because, you know, with, without the him, uh, this would not be possible, and I hope that everything that, that we do today Amen. and what we do with this elk, glorifies the kingdom of God. Amen. 
because without him we have nothing. When this hunt, when this hunt come about, folks, a lot of people has to pay, you know, up to fifteen thousand dollars to kill an elk like this, and I don't have that kind of money, and uh, probably never will be able to have that kind of money to put on some kind of hunt. But I believe that the Lord blessed this hunt. He sent me Benny Collins, and he sent me Corey. They have helped me throughout this hunt. It wouldn't be possible without them. We come up here, me and my wife, and we pre-scouted. And I just want to say thank you to y'all. You're welcome for being for being <laughs> being there and, and and honoring me like I was a superstar. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm just an old country boy from Western Kentucky. And these people up here has made me feel at home. They've treated us like rock stars, haven't they? And I'm not used I'm not used to getting this kind of treatment, you know, and it, it, it I mean everything just fell into place for us. And uh, we said from the start that this wasn't gonna be a uh, a hunting uh, thing. This was gonna be a, a, a God driven hunt. And like I said, sometimes you have some thorns that stick you in the side. But no matter how bad they hurt, you've got got to focus on the Lord Amen. and give the glory to him. You know, what about the other temptations that were thrown your way? I mean, that 8 by 8 we saw yesterday morning and everything, that was one really we, we kept talking about and everything. And this morning you had him, what, 20 yards? We had him close to us this morning while we were tracking this. And uh, we could have very easily just given up and probably walked 15 yards over to our side and got a shot at this tremendous bull. But we decided to finish what we'd started. Amen. And it paid off for us. I'd like to end this with a prayer. And if y'all would, I, I would just like for y'all to come over here and let's let's just circle this magnificent animal. Father God, I'd just like to thank you, Lord, for, for what you've given me in my life, Lord. And I just hope and pray that that you judge me, Lord, for the good things that I've done and not the bad things, Lord. Father, I just you're just so awesome in every time that your presence is in me. It's just unexplainable. And Father, I just believe that this hunt was, you know, not possible by me alone. You was by my side. And Father, I just thank you and I just praise you. And Father, I just everything that we do, Lord, that we do this in your name, Lord. Not not my name, but your name, Lord. Father, I just ask that you, you know, watch over our families or as we're up here. And Father, I just love each and every one of them. And Father, just thank you and thank you so much. Father, I'm not worthy. Thank you, Father. I ask this in Jesus' name, that everything that we do, we can glorify you some kind of way as you've gloried us. Backwoods Adventures is brought to you by the Sports Connection, the Tri-Counties Connection for all your custom embroidery and screen printing needs. Give Chad a call today at 270-389-9933 and by Tri-County Waste. Give Gus Knipe a call for pricing at 270-333-36. 66.